young Queen Elizabeth is being crowned. The crowd joined in chanting, God save the Queen. Her husband Philip, a gentleman's representative, kneels before his wife in full view of the crowd. Duke of Edinburgh took the oath and said, Faith and truth, I will bear unto you to live and die against all manner of folks and declared his eternal allegiance to the queen. At the same time, all the people of England were watching the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II on television. In those days, a nationally televised coronation was a feat. Kingship was a symbol of absolute power. Successive kings did not allow civilians to watch such ceremonies live at all. When Elizabeth was a child, she had seen her father wear the crown with her own eyes. And now that the crown was on her own head, she realized the true meaning of the one who wants to wear a crown must bear the weight. Before the coronation ceremony, the London fog disaster was severe because of Prime Minister Churchill's misguided instructions. Government officials did not take or implement preventive measures in time. The consequences of the disaster became more and more serious. Hospitals were filled with patients suffering from coughing and poisoning due to the haze. Elizabeth intends to summon Churchill and persuade him to step down. In the hospital, Churchill realized the seriousness of the situation. He immediately asked his assistant to call the media, and in his Spartan hospital room, he sped up his writing. Churchill urgently wrote out several steps to take in response to the disaster. Churchill faced the media and the cameras and said in all seriousness, where there is heroism, there will always be hope. He promised to invest more money for hospital staff from now on, more money for equipment. They will investigate the cause of the air pollution to make sure this kind of calamity doesn't happen again. Churchill's words let the people know the country is actively seeking solutions to this disaster more than the cabinet minister's meeting in the palace. Churchill's presence in the hospital was more convincing to the people. Churchill was hailed as a true leader in the crisis. Public opinion made Churchill fight back again. Churchill's response was effective in combating the smog. And then the sun rose over London again. Churchill took the initiative to meet with the Queen. After solving the Hayes problem, Elizabeth saw Churchill's ability to govern and his ability to rally the people. Elizabeth admitted that he was a good prime minister, so she simply asked about Churchill's health and let Churchill go back. The next big thing she had to do was to prepare for her own coronation. Philip saw Elizabeth as the new young queen. She represented a new era, the country hosting the coronation. England wanted to reflect this, so in front of the prime minister and everyone else, he offered to host Elizabeth's coronation in an unprecedented televised event. Philip thought it would be more responsive to the people to involve them. As soon as the issue was raised, Churchill approached Elizabeth to analyze the consequences of doing so. This time, instead of opposing it directly, instead, he left the decision to Elizabeth. He asked whether the crown should bend to the will of the people or whether it should retain its supremacy. It was up to the queen to decide, so Elizabeth insisted on following Philip's proposal. But she had only one condition, that Philip should kneel down. And so it was that scene at the coronation ceremony. In the presence of the people of the country, the archbishop anoints the queen with holy oil. It was a symbol that she was no longer a mortal being. And so, in the presence of the whole nation, the heir of Elizabeth II was officially declared. The English princess placed a man's hand on her leg. The man ran his hand up her thigh. She is Elizabeth's sister. She is Princess Margaret the most beloved of the British royal family. Princess Margaret has the face of an angel. She has a beautiful body. Everyone is fascinated by her mysterious and spontaneous temperament. But this beautiful princess, who was loved by everyone, had an affair with her father's guard, Peter Townsend. Even though she knew that Peter was a family man, but she couldn't stop loving him, she waited until Peter was divorced. Once her sister's throne was secure, Princess Margaret couldn't hold back any longer and told her sister the truth. She invited Elizabeth to have dinner with them. At the dinner, Princess Margaret boldly asked her sister for the Queen's permission to marry Peter, because according to the royal marriage law, a royal marriage can only take place with the consent of the sovereign. Peter was indeed very good. He was a hero who shot down 11 enemy fighters in World War II, but he was divorced and 17 years older than Princess Margaret. Elizabeth Saturday at the dinner table, in shock at her younger sister's request, before Princess Margaret, the British royal family already had a Duke of Windsor who loved beauties instead of the royal throne. If there is another scandal like this, that the royal authority image will completely disappear. Elizabeth thought briefly and did not object to Margaret's request. Margaret was very happy to thank her sister, but because of the authority of the royal family, Elizabeth suggested that they get married in Scotland. 
but what they didn't expect before Princess Margaret told Elizabeth about it. Her and Peter's intimate behavior had already been discovered by journalists. The journalists were ready to use the opportunity to make a splash. The editor-in-chief felt that the matter was still very interesting. The editor-in-chief worked through the night to write the big story. The newspaper and news about Princess Margaret caused an uproar as soon as it came out. On the other hand, Princess Margaret still thought as long as Elizabeth agreed to the marriage, she had nothing to worry about. When she saw the newspaper, Elizabeth immediately approached Margaret and told her she had to wait two more years before thinking about marriage. After Margaret turned 25, the royal law would no longer govern them. She could then choose her own marriage partner. But Princess Margaret didn't want to wait even two more years. She was devastated, but now that the news has had such a big impact, she had to be separated from Peter for a short time. Elizabeth actually loved her sister very much. Queen Elizabeth took Peter everywhere she went. She took Peter with her wherever she went and wanted to show how much she valued Peter. This also earned Peter a good reputation. What she didn't expect was that this would result in. Because of this news, Peter would become the focus of the media whenever he appeared. Peter's personal attention was more than a visit and more than the queen herself. In this context, the news about the royal marriage also grew. The public's reaction made Elizabeth think whether she had made a wrong decision. In order to avoid further escalation of the situation, Queen Elizabeth had to reassign Peter to another country first. But when Princess Margaret found out about it, she couldn't accept it at all. She spoke to her sister on the phone in defiance of her image. She said that Elizabeth had been against them being together from the beginning. She couldn't bear the thought of her being overshadowed by her younger sister. She hated it so much that she wanted to destroy it all. So from now on, Margaret will not protect Elizabeth anymore. After this phone call, the two sisters are completely turned against each other. How luxurious and extravagant can the Queen's visits be? She has 100 dresses, 50 pairs of high heels, more than 30 hats. As long as Queen Elizabeth wore the look once, she would never show it again. Whenever Queen Elizabeth went to visit a place, Queen Elizabeth decorated with wild flowers and foliage from the region. Queen Elizabeth only wanted to look the best of the British Empire to hide the fact that the treasury was running low. Philip saw that one of his outfits took for hours to make by hand and was still not finished. He complained in public and hit them right on the head. Philip thought it was a waste of money. It's like putting a thin coat of paint on a rusty old car and trying to convince the public that it's still running well. But in reality, the car is disintegrating and breaking down. But no one wants to see it. The Queen's visit was a busy one. Queen's mother suggested that Princess Margaret help Elizabeth with some of her duties. However, ever since she and her lover parted, she has been in a state of depression. Princess Margaret had no desire to manage the affairs of state. The only thing she does every day is to talk to her, love her on the phone. Their mother was very worried and told Elizabeth that she, as her sister, she should be more concerned about Princess Margaret at this time. She should help Princess Margaret to get back her confidence in life. Elizabeth agreed to her mother's proposal, but when she was practicing for Princess Margaret's ordination ceremony, Princess Margaret still had only Peter in her heart. She kept complaining that Elizabeth was keeping her and Peter apart. Elizabeth was very worried when she saw her like this. She repeatedly told Margaret to be rational and to think about the big picture. But Princess Margaret still looked like she didn't care. In the evening, the Queen was to board a plane to visit another country. Prime Minister Churchill found Elizabeth before boarding the plane and said his advice. Never let them see the real Elizabeth Windsor. Never let them see that carrying the crown is often a burden. Elizabeth's tour had begun. Her day-to-day -day workload is overwhelming. Queen Elizabeth makes a speech to inspire the people of the land. She finally got the crowd to cheer her on. But Princess Margaret at the palace, seeing her sister in all her glory, she could not resist her emotions again. Princess Margaret changed the speech Queen Elizabeth had left for her. Then she put on Queen Elizabeth's crown. She went to the party and gave her speech as she pleased. But they didn't expect. In contrast to Elizabeth's dignified speech, Princess Margaret's witty speech was much more popular. When Queen Elizabeth saw the newspaper article about Margaret, Margaret's popularity even overshadowed hers. Elizabeth felt a little unhappy. Queen Elizabeth changed her itinerary to 58 days to visit 57 regions. She didn't even have time to go to the bathroom in the 40 degree heat. Elizabeth still had to wear a dress. She asked the driver to slow down the car and only let the media show the Queen in her best light. Her long, incessant smiles and speeches forced Elizabeth to relax her facial muscles with relaxant injections. Philip urged her to slow down her stressful visit, but Elizabeth rejected his offer outright. 
He asked Elizabeth in disbelief. What is it you're trying to prove? What is it you want to hear your father say? Now finally I love you more than I love Margaret. Her husband's words hurt Elizabeth's heart. The two of them have a huge fight. Elizabeth got up and hit him and tried to throw things at him. But their fight was caught on camera by reporters outside the door. Elizabeth stood frowning in place. Because she maintained the image of perfection and nobility that she has worked so hard to build up for the queen.